Hello, my brave clutter clearing tribe. How is it going? This is Marla D, creator of the Clear and Simple Ways to Get Free of Clutter. This is day two of our 30 day clutter clear out 2020. And I'm going to be excited every single day. I'm here to share what I'm letting go of, and I want to witness what you're letting go of and help you in that. Yesterday on day one, I talked about purses, wallets, and work bags and told you guys that I would share with you this morning what I let go of. So I'm going to do that. Look at that. Yep. So I shared that I didn't have clutter inside my active wallet or purse, but I had a collection of 21 items that were old wallets and the little bags that you stick inside the purse or the travel bag. Yeah, quite a collection, people, including this one, which I have loved because it's gorgeous leather and I absolutely love leather. I've had this for over a decade. And when my daughter, my clutter clearing coach, asked me yesterday, and how many times have you used this? I said, once when I first bought it, which is really humbling, you know? So I still love it. It brings me joy when I think about it or look at it or hold it, but I'm not using it. So it's okay to let it go. And then that sweet little item that belongs to my mom, this is going to go in my memorabilia basket that I have just for her. So that feels amazing. So out of 21, let go of 14. There they go. And these are the few items that I am keeping. It feels perfect to me. That was the purse and the wallets day. I did want to share one other thing on that was, you know, every time I looked at that pile and it was just overwhelming. I touched those things so many times and I didn't know how to let go. And so what I did is I spread them all out on my desk and did a little bit of sorting. And then I looked at them and I said, okay, Marla, is there one that you can let go of? And yep. Indeed, this one just popped out at me, probably because it's gray, not black, but you know, it's awesome. I can think of so many ways that I could use this, but I never have. It came with some kind of a set. And so that was the easy one to let go of. And then I got on Zoom with Jessica and she talked me through the others and helped me to quite easily move them out of my space. So that feels amazing. Today, on day two, we're talking about books. Books can be loaded because throughout most of humankind's history here on the planet, books were associated with wealth, with intelligence, and that still hangs out, you know, in our experience of life. And hanging on to those books can have so much meaning for people. They are hard to let go of for most of us, myself included. I spent time with my books this morning and asked, what's one? What's just one book I can let go of? And I'm here to tell you, if you ask that question, everything gets easier and it's okay to just have one. I'm gonna share with you, there are three that I'm letting go of. I keep saying one and then I can let go of more, but that's okay. I started with one. And these are three different examples that I see a lot with books when I'm helping clients. First of all, there's for me the business book. So being a business owner for 22 years, I have lots of these. I got this from some event that I went to. I am sure it is excellent. You know, I've flipped through it more than once, but this is not where I'm at in my life right now. So I'm letting that go. And this one's hysterical because I purchased this when it was in an airport once when I was on a trip because I love reading books on airplanes and I got about halfway through it and then I never finished it. And when I opened this up because it is one of those ones that has the read and return <laughs> and my receipt, you guys, you know what this receipt is dated? It's really scary. April 15th. 2013. This book is seven years old. It's been sitting in my space. So sometimes it's about asking, you know, not do I want it, 
but will I read it? Will I take the time to sit down and read this book in my life today? The third one's just a fiction, which I'm sure is very good, but you know, I've had it for years. I've got other ones that I want to read way more, and I just know that that one's not going to happen. So I am letting go of those three books. I so want to see what you are letting go of today. I just talked to my friend Jim, and he is releasing about 20 books. I told him to send me a picture. And really cool story. He just went and got uh, three more big, beautiful bookshelves to put in his study, his his books that he loves have been in boxes because he moved recently. And, you know, in his study, he's creating a whole library wall because he loves books and learning. And I think that's awesome. So for the books that you choose to keep, an organizing tip is don't leave them in boxes. You know, display them. Put them out where you see them and appreciate them. If they're sitting in boxes in your basement, they're not doing you or anybody any good. I hope that helps. And I really want to see stuff from you guys. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.